What is up guys? Today at Blade HQ we're taking a look at Bowie Knives. Bowie Knives? It was designed for a guy named Jim Bowie. Jim Bowie fought at the Alamo. We want to find out, can you use it for survival today? So we're going to take this Condor Undertaker Bowie, we're going to send it to three different YouTubers who will test it in their backyards, wherever they're at, and then they will attach a survival item to it and send it to the next guy. At the end of this, it's going to go back to Joe Flowers, who designed this particular model for Condor. He's gonna test it in the desert at uh, Las Vegas during SHOT Show 2018. And then we're gonna give it away to you guys. So watch till the end, this will be fun. Hey, my name's Aaron and I run the YouTube channel Gideon's Tactical and I just got an awesome package from Blade HQ and Joe Flowers. Let's take a look at what's inside. All right, what do we got going on here? Ooh, fox hide or something? Oh man, the Condor Undertaker buoy. We're gonna have some fun with this. Really excited to use this buoy today to build a Swedish torch style fire. The benefits to this style of fire is that you don't need a lot of wood. It burns straight up, so you're not having to constantly put more fuel on the fire, and you can cook right on top of it. So let's go ahead and get to it. Massive blade, this does a good job. So now that I've chopped it down to a reasonable size, you just stack them in a ring like this. You could use rocks kind of around them if you're having a hard time standing them up. You could even wrap paracord or something like that. In the center, I have a gap that we're just gonna stuff full of tinder, and then we're gonna light that thing, and hopefully it'll just burn right up and really work well. So there you have it, a different way to make a fire, a Swedish torch style fire that will use less fuel when you're out there in a survival situation. And now to attach the one must have survival item, Cottonelle Fresh Care wipes so that when nature calls, you'll have something to take care of that. Alrighty, all packaged up, off to the next one. So there's a little bit of contention on how you say this word. We're going to walk around SHOT Show here and we're gonna see what the pros think. Uh, how do you say the name of this knife? Bowie knife. Bowie knife. Bowie. That is a Bowie knife. Bowie knife. Bowie knife. Bowie knife. Alrighty then. Let's take a look at this. Oh my god. That's not a knife. This is a knife. How to folks, Andy Tran here with Inner Bark Outdoors and Blade HQ. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to make a friction fire using the hand drill method. The tool that I'm gonna be using is the Condor Undertaker Bowie Knife. So with my fireboard, I'm going to start a pilot hole near the edge of the piece of wood. Got my spindle, it's gonna rest inside the pilot hole and we're gonna spin this nice and fast just like if we were gonna try the actual attempt of the fire. Boom. And then we'll just take a piece of this wood and then we'll shave it off and that'll be our little fire pan. All right, so that is how to make a fire using the hand drill method. I decided to send Joe Flowers some Johnny's, some non-lubricated kind. These also have a lot of survival applications. They can carry lots and lots of water because they expand. Joe, I hope you enjoy these and stay safe out there in the deserts of Nevada. Zang. All right guys, so I'm the last man to get the knife. About 24 hours from now, I'm gonna be getting on a plane and heading to SHOT Show. We've got a Note from Joe Flowers. We got lots and lots of packing peanuts. Whee! Whee! I told you there was a lot.
and here's the knife. So I've got a short amount of time before the sun goes down to put the knife to use and to show you a skill. And what we're going to talk about is fire making and in particular how to set up your fire lay so you're not fidgeting and messing around with your fire. Once it gets going you want it to be ready to rock and roll. We're going to get some very fine tinder that'll take a spark from a fire steel. Things that are light and fluffy like leaves, seed heads, maybe things that have oils. Here's what your tinder bundle is going to look like. Next up we're going to get some very small pieces of wood, maybe the diameter of a pencil, a little bit smaller just found a cedar tree. This is similar to something you'll find in the desert like a juniper tree. And so I'm gonna use this portion of the blade, this clip portion, to scrape some of the bark off. It's very good for getting a fire started and actually keeping it going. Wood collection complete, let's make a fire. Let's take a look at what we have here. You can see the wood I put down to get the fire up off the snow, our tinder bundle, Got a bunch of feather sticks there. Over here you can see I used what I think is Andy Tran's deer pelt that he sent with the knife to keep these sticks up, up, up off the snow. And I've got some smaller sticks, medium getting a little bit bigger, and then my largest sticks here. So uh, let's get a fire started right now. So this is the idea, once it gets going, it should feed itself and get really rocking. As you guys saw, this did pretty much all the tasks I needed it to do. It did some big chopping and then did some small work all the way down to making feather sticks. My next job is to pack up the knife, head out to SHOT Show 2018, deliver this knife to Joe Flowers, and he's gonna head out into the desert and use it. We're in Las Vegas. The trick now is to go find Tim. No, nope. first we gotta find Joe. Then we gotta find Tim. Joe is somewhere in the Sands Convention Center. Tim is off in the woods somewhere and has our knife. And we're in some parking garage at Treasure Island. Looks and like so. This way? Yeah, okay. I got in the wrong van. <laughs> this guy was like, whoa! <laughs> he had a bed in there, and he had all sorts of different weird stuff. Yeah. So do you have the knife? No, Tim has the knife up okay. on the mountain. We're gonna okay. go find Good. Tim We have to go mountain. find the knife. Oh, all right, we're gonna find <laughs> the way to the mountain. And we're gonna come find your red Kia, track your boots down in the snow, and find the Bowie knife. Is that right? There's, there's no service up there, just so you know. Okay. Can't if, call, I can't call. I think from this text um, and then your instructions here, we'll be able to find it. Oh, and you're gone, Tim. This is gonna be an adventure, guys. Well, we're on Mount Charleston. We're looking for a red Kia. We think Tim came up this road, but we're not 100%. It doesn't, so, uh, doesn't smell like him right now. It doesn't smell like him and we haven't seen a single red Kia yet. <laughs> we found the There's Kia! There's lots of rocks here. There's an orange bandana. I think that's Tim. Right up there. So we now have the knife. The next thing we need to do is look at what the other guys have put on there. Well, we definitely got a ferro rod here. A big one too, like a yeah, serious like a massive ferro rod. One. Oh, we got condoms. You got condoms. Okay, how would you use these in, in a desert situation? Oh, big time, Joe. water. Really, Joe? Let's find out. All right, guys, let's try this. All right. Yeah, I don't know about that. All right, so we got about 12 ounces. Uh, now what? Oh, we got some butt wipes. We're out in the desert. There's there not are. a lot to wipe your butt with, so somebody really, really thought this ahead was, of time. This was thoughtful. Okay, would you ever use this, if you had to pick, would you use this as a survival knife or not? Um, well, before I started chopping with this and really using it, I'd say no, but now that I have started getting to use it, absolutely. It's easy to do small knife chores with a big knife, but it's hard to do big knife chores with a small knife. I'm able to chop, and that's what it's all about right now. Beautiful. Let's chop it, man. All right, let's, let's go chop it. Tell me what you were thinking when you designed this knife. Classic 
uh, Bowie meets modern Bowie. Okay. So there, there's a lot of things going on in this knife that uh, are classic. Plain Jane, coffin style handle. We have more of a modern clip point. This is a clip point that has more of a curve on it. This stuff's so rotten, it doesn't want to curl. This is like the worst wood ever to work with. This is like the smallest fuzz stick I've ever made, but this is awesome. Oh, I love it. I don't know if that'll catch or not, but we're gonna try it for fun and profit. Oh, yeah, more different material. Sorry, guys. getting some of the mesh metal in there because this stuff acts like magnesium. All right, so this wasn't exactly a one stick fire, but we adapted. Because the trees were really, really crumbly out here, we decided to try and just make an all natural fire really, really quick with uh, some of the various plants that are out here and that worked out real, real well. There was some pine over there that we tried with the one stick fire, but it was so, so crumbly, it didn't want to curl up. It was kind of interesting. I never do this. Rock on knife. Bad idea. Why am I still doing this? Because I don't feel like going to go get a big wooden baton. Sorry, YouTube, sorry, internet. Having any knife is gonna be useful for survival. Any edge will give you the edge over all other living things. Alright guys, we've been out and tested the Undertaker Bowie designed by Joe Flowers and made by Condor Knives. What do you think, Joe, does it work for survival? It works for survival. I was completely impressed with it because I didn't really design it for that. Um, but with a hollow grind and about 10 inches long steel at the end of this baby, it uh, was very multifaceted and multi-use. That's solid. So guys, if you have not subscribed to all of the channels that collaborated on this, Go check out Gideon's Tactical, as well as Inner Bark Outdoors and Everyday Tactical Vids. Joe, where can they find you? CondorTK.com. We're on YouTube as well. Um, and Facebook. Definitely on Facebook and Instagram. Condor Tool and Knife. Now, guys, we have beat this and we want to give it away. So we're going to do a giveaway with this knife. Tell us in the comments what survival skill you'd like to see us test or teach in the future. And uh, we will give this away in the coming weeks. By the way, the place to buy Condor knives and Bowie and Bowie Knives is BladeHQ.com. Thanks guys, we'll have another video coming out for you next week.